What's up, YouTube? So I'm gonna show you the easiest way to open VS Code and your GitHub projects on your iPad or on any mobile device. It should work on any mobile device. So first, uh, you could download GitHub. It's optional. You could always um just check it through the web or through your PC or whatever. So first thing you do is open up your browser. You search VS Code and you use VS Code for web. So everyone knows how to do this part, right? So we open this up. Uh, you can click here. So it'll open VS Code in your web. Now this part, I haven't found any YouTube videos that were going over this, which is the easiest way to do it without having to pay for a server or have to link all that, you know? Because VS Code, we all know that you can link your GitHub to it, right? So you could push and pull your files from there. So what you do is you go here um, and you pretty much link your GitHub account, right? And once that's done, all you do is click open remote repository. So the first time you try signing in it, for me, it didn't work. It worked, it confirmed it, but then it, it still had the exclamation marks on here. So I had to do it again. So I did that twice. And then all you click is open remote repository from here. And you choose uh, the repository and it'll show all of your repositories here. So here, for example, let's go here. So I'm currently in school for coding and I just needed to be able to use my iPad just to make it more portable in case I'm out somewhere. So let's go to, where is it at? Coding projects, no, that's not it. Well, that's fine. So we could, we could use that one, okay. So yeah, it'll load up the, the project, right? Here's the JavaScript. And just uh, so you can see that it works. Let's do var test equals worked. All right, so there we made a change in the code. And it pretty much this isn't a full tutorial of how to link it. But if you're trying to do this, you probably already have your VS Code linked and you're able to push and pull from it. So I'm going to push to it. I'm going to commit. So I'm going to call it worked. Accept. Okay. So yeah, it already pushed it to GitHub. And now let's go to GitHub so you can see that it worked. So we were in, give me a moment, let's see, I don't even know how to work this to be honest. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Oh no, I think that adds notes, yeah, that's wrong. Here, no, hmm. Oh, repositories, duh. So yeah, repositories, we open the coding projects. Uh, we browse our code. This is uh, the one I added it in. And there you go. Yeah, so if you found this video helpful, if you need a, a more in-depth walkthrough, uh, let me know. I can make a video on that. But pretty much if you're looking to do this, you probably already have your VS Code set up to push directly to GitHub from VS Code. And yeah, I couldn't find any other video that made it that easy. Everyone was trying to use cloud servers and all that which isn't really necessary if you could push from VS Code to your GitHub. So yeah, thanks for watching. Give a thumbs up and share it.